Hello, in today's video, we're going shopping at the Goodwill outlet bins. And at the end of the video, I'll show you my thrift haul. Here we go. The first thing I found on this day was as soon as I walked up to the bins, there was this little egg sitting on top. I think it's adorable and I grabbed it right away. Now the bins threw me off on this day because they had far fewer hard good bins and many, many more clothing bins. I have heard that in other states it's like that. So maybe that's what they're going for. I don't know. I did have a glove on in the beginning because I always get yelled at for not wearing gloves, but I wound up taking it off because you know what? The Minnesota bins are pretty clean and I really had a hard time digging with a glove. So I'm sorry if that offends anyone, but I will warn you that I take the glove off here shortly. <laughs> This was a nice little cluster of Christmas stuff, and so I took my time going through it. Everyone else around me was waiting for new clothing bins to be brought out, so I kind of had the hard good bins to myself for a little while. found a cutie little vintage Santa. I don't know if you've watched any of my other videos, but you may have heard me say how many vintage Santas I want. It is all of them. <laughs> so I did put him into my cart. Then I found these Homeco elves. They are very cute. I actually own a set. Uh, this set, I did wind up finding all three, but you'll see here, I think it's this one, his arm is broken off. So... I don't know if I showed you there, but I probably showed you later in the video, but his arm is broken off. In addition to fewer hard good bins, the bins have become increasingly difficult to go through because they're really packed. And you can kind of see that here. The They used to just be much easier to go through. The stuff wasn't so packed in. And I know you're gonna say that's a milk glass plate, but it had another plate glued to it. I don't know if you saw that. But anyway, um, it was just hard to dig through and to film for you guys. I know that you guys love these videos, so that's why I did it. But just letting you know that it's not my best filming because it's just really hard because they're just so packed now. Look at this cutie. Oh my goodness. How do things like this survive and not be completely torn to bits? This is an adorable little piece. I have been looking for more vintage art for my shop, my little booth at the shop, because that seems to be selling very well. I didn't know that the cat print would sell necessarily, but it was cute. I thought this was really pretty, but I have not sold a single dish at my booth and I am being very careful about what I collect for my own dish collection. Cause you know, dishes are not small. <laughs> so I didn't pick at any of the rose dishes up, but there were several, there was that platter and then there were several plates.
This was Thomas Havlin Limoges, France. Am I saying that right? I don't know, but it was chipped. I don't know what exactly it was either. I'm not sure what that would be used for, but it was pretty. I thought this little bunny teapot was really cute, but it had a lot of chips, like not just in one place. So I left that behind. These were cool. This was a Holland mold nativity. Several figures here, but I wound up turning the camera off so I could open up some of the packages and several of them were really, really cracked and had been glued back together. So it was not in good shape at all. Found this little guy for my hubby. He collects those. I found this ceramic duck planter. It was made to look like wood. It was actually really heavy. So I was considering that for my shop. This bin had some cool vintage finds in it. Anytime you find one vintage item, it's good to keep looking for others. So that's what I did here. This Napco planter was cool, but it had a crack in it. I thought this little Dutch shoe wall pocket planter was kind of cute. In this bin, there were several cigar boxes, which were always kind of neat to look at. 
There was also a woman kind of following closely to me. I felt like she was sort of rushing me, even though she didn't say anything. So at this point, I was feeling a little stressed. And this was almost a cool find. It was two Pyrex bowls, but I can honestly say, I don't think I've ever seen Pyrex bowls in this bad of condition. I don't know if they like dishwashered them or something, but I've never seen them like look that bad on the outside. And this I wanted to include, I did not pick this up, but I just thought it was really a smart idea. It's a window cling saving book. So, you know, you take the Dollar Tree window clings down and you kind of throw them out because what are you going to do with them? But here's a little book that you could save them in. It was all bent up, but I did think it was a good idea and I wanted to show it to you guys. Hello, you all. I hope it was fun going to the bins. This is a big haul, so let's get right into it. Uh, I don't even know what to start with. Okay, um, I'm going to start with holiday. I'll start with my Easter things since those are spring and Easter. Um, yeah, so I found this. It's a little uh, Peter Rabbit, Peter Rabbit and Benjamin, 1988. So it's a little print. It's kind of shiny like a photograph. I'm going to um, stand this on one of my shelves on my bookshelf upstairs that has all like my vintage displays. I was saying if you watch my stories on Instagram, I needed something for the back of some of the shelves. And I think this will be a good option for one of them. And here it is on my shelf. So I just tucked it in the back there just as a little backdrop to the other displays here. I might stick a candle in one of these. I don't feel the need to put candles in all of my candle holders, but maybe in one. And while I have you, I forgot to put this in my haul because as soon as I came home, I put it out. Oh my goodness. I love this thing so much. Uh, I don't want to mess with it too much. It's pretty delicate, but it basically folds flat and then the eggs go boop and they pop open. It's so cute. I put a little thing on my story, I think, to show you how it works, but I thought that was pretty cool, but uh, I forgot to put it in my haul, so I thought I'd just show it to you now. All right, then I found two bunnies. You know, I wasn't sure if I was gonna pick these up, but I did. They're very lightweight, and I looked up, it's called Creekside, it says on the bottoms of them. This one looks chipped. If I knew that I might have done that hmm. maybe it was like that and I didn't notice it doesn't matter um so they say Creekside which I looked up is a local potter I don't think they're in business anymore but uh, I thought that was kind of cool and they survived the bins with their ears intact that's pretty cool so the foot of this one is chipped but that's okay um I'll probably just put him in like some moss and you won't even notice that his foot is chipped they need to be cleaned off a little bit but I thought they were cute and, you know, knowing that they came from a local potter is better than the ones I have from Target that are from China. So I might donate those and keep these instead just because they're a little bit cooler. And here's where I found a home for the bunnies. I leave a little spot here. I'm going to put a coaster here because the family likes to put a drink here. So I try not to over decorate so they can still actually use the tables. But I thought that was really cute. My tiered tray is not done for the season yet. But I'm just starting to bring spring things out. This was part of my winter decor. I never did a tour. This is all like this. But I thought the bunnies just popped right in there. Look great. You can see we are still fully covered in snow. But that's okay. It's becoming spring inside. Okay. And then, oh, I love these. Ah, I love these. I'm so excited. I'm going to make two Easter pillows from these prints. So they're like printed fabrics. I think they're all different. Let me make sure. You could also do a quilt, but I probably wouldn't use a quilt. Yeah. So here's the pictures. There's this one. He's like fishing. And then there's this one. He's uh, warming up a tea kettle over an open fire. And then there's this one. He's like got his little... Uh, I don't, I don't want to call it a hobo stick. I don't know what else to call it. You know, like... His little like bundle of treasures on his stick kind of thing there with a little owl. I think it's so cute. And look at the colors with the pink and the aqua. They're perfect for my house. And then this one, oops. He's sitting by his little house talking to the birds. So, oh my goodness, these are so perfect for me. I will wash up the fabrics and then make some pillows from those. That'll be easy enough to stitch up. Okay. 
<clears throat> wow. Mm. I'm just sipping my water. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> then also, I did bring the egg home. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. It says, hmm, fine quality A Japan is what that little sticker says. So I don't know what that means, but this is going to go in my dining room, in my little china hutch. Uh, as like a little touch of Easter in there. I thought that would be really cute. Oh, it's so adorable and I love the color. And I'll probably put some boxwood in it. I have not put anything in it yet, but this is where I think it's going to live for the season. There's my hutch as it currently stands. And I think it's a nice little pop of blue there. So there you go. Okay, and then I did get two little baskets. I think these are so cute. So one is like the pink and one is the aqua. I mean, they're perfect. I could put eggs in them, little miniatures. I could do assemblages in them. I don't know. Not sure what, but I thought they were perfect and a nice little size and they could go on tiered trays. And then I did find two little bits. <laughs> I found a little mini birdhouse and a little bumblebee. So those are just for my crafting stuff. And I think that's it on the spring items and Easter. Yeah. Okay. I then also found these, which I guess these are kind of springy. I, I want you to help me know what these are. So someone made four of these. Are they just supposed to look like mini aprons? Are they supposed to go on dolls? Like, I don't know, but they're so cute. Look, I think they're just mini aprons, right? That's what I was thinking when I picked them up. So there's this one. It has bunnies. An alphabet. This one says Angels Sweetly Singing or the Plains, Merry Christmas 1988. So we've got Christmas, Springtime. Ugh. Oh, there's all the seasons. I didn't even notice that. Ah! Oh my goodness, guys. We've got Summer. Look at this. How cute is this set? So Summer with the watermelon. Oh my goodness. And then these are. Um, like, I guess like fall with the apples for, for September. Although it also looks like there's deer. So I'm not really sure. But that sort of, I think that could pass for fall with the apples, right? Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay, so now the question is, how do I display? Should I do something where I can like interchange them? Maybe in a frame or something? I don't know. Tell me all your great ideas on how I should display the one that's for each season. I don't have a doll and I'm not getting a doll. <laughs> I don't really do dolls. But how could I do? I guess I could just hang it in my kitchen. I don't know. You tell me all of your great ideas because a lot of you have a lot of great ideas. So those are really cute. I'm excited. I'm more excited than I even was before. Okay, let's move to Christmas. Um, so these I got for crafting. They say holiday elegance made in China. Looks kind of like a Michael's tag or something. So nothing too special about those other than I thought they were kind of, you know, primitive, rustic looking and would go cute in some of my crafts. And then I did get the um, little Santa. His sticker is gone. I'm sure that was a Made in Japan sticker. Um, he is missing his like violin um, bow. Is that what that's called? It's broken off. But that's fine. No one's going to notice that. He's just going to sit on a shelf with all of his vintage Santa friends. And then I did pick up these three elves, which I have these already. So I'll probably sell these and sell this one as is. He hit his arm. Is I'm going to try to glue it. Um, it looks like it was glued at one time and then it just fell off in the bins. So it's a pretty clean break. Yeah, I think I'll be able to glue that and then I'll just sell it as is. Uh, but it's nice to have the set. So I don't know. Probably put that in my little antique booth. At Christmas time. Okay, before I get into the next part of the video, I realized I didn't actually show you all the elves. You'll notice what I'm talking about when you watch that part of the video, but these are three elves that I found. They are home co-elves. This one has a broken arm, and now we'll return to the video. And then also for Christmas, ooh, I found a little brass Christmas tree candle holder. There was only one, but I thought that was really cute. And I found this adorable vintage nativity. And these are made so you could stick a light in the back. 
which is kind of cool. It's missing its little ornament string, but that's the idea is that you could stick a light in there and then it shines down. On the nativity scene, I think that's adorable and it says made in Hong Kong, so we know it's older. And then I got these and they're not my favorite colors. I like the blue ones. These are, eh, I, don't, I don't know what I'll do with those, but I really got this because I like the box and I don't have this box. So I will like to put this in my stack of vintage ornament boxes. And then this one was kind of cool. Someone made that. So I thought that was cute. Okay. So that was Christmas. This is not Christmas, but I did pick this up. Picked up this tray. There's no marking on it. I'm going to put this in my shop. It's a little warped. I don't know, but maybe someone will like it because it's kind of vintage and funky looking. Looks a little hand done. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You know, and it's at the shop, so I guess it's not warped. It's just like wavy. I don't know if you can see that. The edge of it is like wavy. And the edge here is wavy also. But, you know, people are in the shop. They can hold it, see it, and decide if that's something they want or not. So it's kind of cool. The painting on it is kind of cool. All right, and what else? Oh man, okay, hold on, hold the phone. Hold the phone, I got a ton of cigar boxes. Now I know this might offend people. I am not offended by cigar boxes, but I'm sorry if you are. I like to store stuff in them. I just think they're cool. So I got a ton of them. There was this, there's three of this one. Got three of this one, red dot. I will try to take the Goodwill stickers off of them. Then there's some really cool ones. I love this one. Palma Chica's Wally Frank. So I thought these were really cool. And I use these to store like craft supplies and they are a great size for storing craft supplies. And they stack really well. And this is Cyana. What does that say? Hmm, not sure, someone wrote something on there but I can't read it. Oh, that's cool. Little lady picture. And William Penn, mildest cigar ever made. Wow, that is quite a claim. Oh my gosh, look at this vintage advertising. That is fantastic. I love that. And then, this is the last one. This one's a, uh, uh, it's all right. An old British guy, King Edward. So I thought those were really cool and they will be great. I just gotta clean them up a little be great for storing my craft supplies. Okay. I got this for my shop. I have this already. It is a milk glass top hat. I don't remember who made it. You guys have told me before. There are no chips or cracks. And I use mine at 4th of July, you know, for the patriotic holidays. Goodwill had this listed at $2.99. Not a bad price, but we'll see if anyone buys it from my little shop. Then I got these because my friend Jamie from Border Bananas did a craft with these and I have been on the hunt for some, so I was happy to find them. She um, did something with them and then she actually like hung them on little black hooks, on little white pieces of wood. It was very cute. So now I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Yay, I found some. So I got two of those. I got this for my little shop. I thought that was really cute. It's a Dutch shoe, but it's a wall pocket planter thing which I think is adorable. So it's got the hole so you can hang it on the wall. So I thought that was cute. And it's a tulip, you know, Dutch tulips, I guess. I don't know. And what else? Oh, there's so much stuff here, guys. Oh, so much stuff I love. Okay, I got this for the shop because I told you wall art has been selling very well, vintage wall art. So I thought this was really pretty. I don't do these colors. I am fairly certain our dining room set when I was growing up was this color with these like weird speckles <laughs> back in 1979 or whatever it was. Um, I think that's great. So that will go into my little shop. Ooh, knocking things over. Okay, then some really kind of junk stuff. If you're not into junk, you won't like this part of the haul. There is other stuff coming, but I got a bag of old game pieces. Oh my gosh. I just think these are fantastic. Um, I'm going to use them in crafting. I mean, because look, you can use these, these little chess pieces. If you can find four that are the same height, 
like of these little ones, which I'd have to go through and find them, but you can use these as legs on little risers. I have done this before. I've done it with dollar store chess pieces. So these are even cuter. So that's that. And then these are just game pieces. I might put these, I might put these in a bag and just stick them in my bits and bobs bin at the shop. They're just some kind of, they go to some old game. I don't know, but I was really drawn to the wooden chess pieces and wooden checkers. I just think they're cool and they're good for my crafting and they're already finished. So look at that. All right. And then, man, I love this. Okay. You're going to laugh. You're going to think it's weird. I found four unused things of kite string. I think these are going to be adorable in like a crock, especially in a summertime display. I think they're so cute, but I'm not even going to wait for summer. I just love the way that they look. This one's like sliding there. You totally put them in a crock and they're just going to look adorable. And they say American Eagle kite cord, 250 feet, lighter weight, stronger, 15 cents for the real kite flyer. Alox Manufacturing, St. Louis, Missouri. I love these things. I think they're fantastic. I know that's weird. I love junk, guys. That's the reality. <laughs> The dirtier and, and older and the weirder it is, the better I like it. This is where I've put the kite strings for now. In the summer, I might put them in their own crock, but right now I love them with my old spindles. I just think they look so cute. I think I like them that much because they look like thread, which I love because I love sewing things. They also look like rolling pins and you know my affinity for rolling pins. <laughs> I just think they're really great. So that's what they look like in my little display for now. Okay. Then I got these, which I totally love. I only found a few at first, and then I found the whole bag. So I think in the in the the shop along video, you might have seen me pick up some of them. And then I found a whole bag. So look, there are all these little spice containers. And it's Crystal Food Products, Watsika, Illinois. Oh, Griffith's Crystal Food Products, Watsika, Illinois. And they all have these copper lids they're coming out gold but they are copper and they're adorable oh some of them have silver oh my god i love these things so much i don't even know what i'm gonna do with them but i just love them i might actually use some of them as spice jars because all they have is like the ugly jars from the store these look so much cuter there's no reason why i can't have cute things in your cabinets right it doesn't have to look like you just pulled it off the shelf at target so anyway, there's a ton of them. Oregano, I use oregano. Celery salt I use. C celery seed, I don't think I use that one. Cloves, I mean, there's a ton. So here, this is the whole bag. Oh my gosh. And then whatever I don't use, or if there's ones without lids, which there definitely are, like I could totally use them in craft projects. Mm. I love stuff like this. So that was a good find. Um. Okay. Then I found this. I'm going to put this in my shop. You know, I've been picking up vintage uh, kitchen utensils when I find them. This I haven't decided yet. I really like this. It's kind of retro, but I like it. And I don't know. I'm doing like baskets, you know. So I haven't decided if I'm going to hold on to this or not. Um, but I thought that was cool. And then uh -huh. this is one of my favorite finds. Ah, I love it. Okay. It came with a an old Christmas hook. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'll put that in with my Christmas balls. Okay. It's a enamelware baking pan. I know exactly where I'm going to put this because I have another piece of enamelware. I like to hang it and display it in my dining room and kitchen. And I have one hanging, a bowl hanging on my wall. So I'm just going to hang this right above it. I think there's even a nail there already. So that's what this is for. I just love it. I think it's fantastic. All right, we're here in my dining room again and I've hung the little enamelware baking pan. I love it. You see how I have this basin here with the red and white and then, oh my gosh, doesn't that look so great? I love it. And it's perfect because I don't have a lot of room between the cabinets and the wall. So it's nice, it's just a nice display to have there and it, like it's the right amount of space taken up. So I'm super happy about that. Okay. And just a few more things. I got this for my home decor because I thought it was cool. This is nice for displays. You know, I like to put vignettes together. And I got this for hubby. He collects them. And I got this. 
It is from Hobby Lobby. It still has its little tag. It had a heart, but I didn't want like a, a what is that called? Grapevine heart thing. I didn't want that and I didn't want to pay for something I knew I didn't want. Plus I have some of those from the Dollar Tree if I feel so inclined to put one here. But um, I just got it because it's boxwood and it's a nice little thing of boxwood that you could stick in a bowl, you know, so. All right, and I got this. So this, I told you I'm doing some redecorating in this room and I, the theme is kind of butterflies and birds and like leaves, nature things, you know. So I got this and I'm gonna paint it but I liked it because you can't see, well, actually you can kind of see here. So there is actually, um, I'm in the lower level of our house and there is a, if any of you live in a split level, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's like a, a kick out um, because the cinder block wall is there. And so the foundation where the foundation kicks out, there's like a ledge, you know, around the entire, well, it would be around the entire basement, but in here it's just this wall because that's the exterior wall. Like on all the exterior walls, you have this ledge. So anyway, this I thought would be perfect to paint up and either do like candles, you know, fake candles or, um, you know, florals or change it out for the seasons, whatever the case would be. I got those little um, yogurt containers a few weeks back. Those would fit perfectly in here with some of my tea lights that come on and off and I can use greenery in with them or something. So that's what I was thinking with this. Um, I'm going to paint it, I think. <sighs> I'm probably going to, I can't commit. I'm not sure what color I'm going to paint it. Probably just flat black because my walls are white and then it will show up really well against the white walls because it's going to be sitting on a ledge like up against the white wall. So I think that that's what color I will paint this, but I'm not committing yet. So that's that. Well, oh, okay. I got two other things for the shop. This little omelet omelet pan looks like it was never used and it basically tells you instructions for a french omelet and instructions for a puffy omelet i thought that was so cute you like put your put your eggs in here and it tells you how to cook them and then in the last like minute or something you do that and blah blah i thought that was cool so i'm gonna put that in my shop and i found this a set of two tupperware canisters they don't smell weird either. You know, sometimes Tupperware can smell weird. So I'll wash these up and I'm gonna put those in my shop. They come with their lids. Some people like Tupperware. And if not, I can use these. I use these for storing craft stuff also, but I thought, nah, since it's a set, I'll try it at the shop. And then if it doesn't sell, I can just use it for my own stuff. Okay, and the last little bit here. Oh my gosh. Um, Actually, oh, I missed a Christmas piece. I picked him up. He does have some condition issues, but that'll be easy enough to put a little red paint and to fix that up. I think he's going to be great in my Santa collection because he has that like rustic, primitive, old world style that I really like. So I thought he would be great in my collection. Okay. And now there are things that I think are just so cool. This one says refrigerator jar. I love this so much because I love the font. It looks like totally 1950s. I don't know anything about it. It has M73L and JB in like a circle. That says JB. So I don't know anything about it, but I just think it's cool and I'll probably use it to store craft supplies or in a display at um, the red and white holidays. Wow, patriotic holidays. I could have used it for Valentine's Day. It'd be so cute. Oh my gosh. I wanna lay it on its side though so you can see the thing that says refrigerator because it's so cute. And then I got three canning jars for my collection. Yes, I collect canning jars and I use them too. So I get the zinc lids and then I use these, but I don't have these. Look at this, at Hazel Atlas Mason. I don't have one with the Hazel Atlas symbol on it. I thought that was really cool. I don't usually get clear ones unless they're really cool. And these three I thought were really cool. So this was in that same bag or bin. I think it was a bin with the refrigerator jar. And then I got these two, which are slightly different from each other. I'll have to, I didn't look anything up about them yet. They say Atlas, strong shoulder, but you can see the font is slightly different on them. So again, I don't know anything about them, but I love canning jars and I'm happy to add these to my collection. Oh wait, oh my gosh, guys, I almost left out the craziest thing. Okay, 
Hold on. And then I got this. Okay, it is not a complete game. So it's just this box, it's the Monopoly box, and in it are like two really old Monopoly boards, which I just thought were so cool. Oh man, this is all taped. I didn't even see that it was taped. Well, let me just pull them out. Okay, so here's one. Look at that, that's so cool. The box, the, the um, board itself doesn't look that different. I'm going to see if I can clean it a little. It's kind of grungy, but I don't even know what I'm going to do with these, but I don't know. I even thought like someone for ephemera purposes, they might like that. I don't know. I just thought it was cool. And another one, same thing. But then this, I'm definitely going to sell online for ephemera. There's a bunch of money and some of it is old looking. Some of the Monopoly money is really old looking. So if you see, like, this is what I'm used to 20s looking like in Monopoly. But these are definitely, like, older. It's definitely not a complete game, but there's definitely cool pieces to it. I, I might keep some of the... Oh, this is an old one. Okay, I'll show you the difference. So this is the, the one that we're kind of used to seeing. This is an old Virginia Avenue. If, I can, if there's more properties that are older, I'm going to keep them and stick them in a flower frog. I think that would be so cool. I will go through it, see what I want to keep, and sell the rest probably on Etsy, I'm thinking. Okay, and then I have a mystery item. Uh, I really don't know what this is. So it says the Indispensable Dispenser, German patent, and then it has some numbers, and then it says made in Germany. But I don't know what it dispensed. What was this a dispenser for? I haven't looked it up on Google yet. I don't know. Like, it has this little slit in the top. Because when I first picked it up, I was like, is it a name card holder? And then I saw that it's called a dispenser. But I don't know what it dispenses. So anyway, if you have any guesses or information, I'm excited to hear your thoughts. So, all right. And that is it for the day. It was a huge haul. Got a lot of good stuff, and I was really excited. I was like, oh, I went to the bins on a good day. So anyway, I hope this was fun for you. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I spent $40, and I did not round, round up. They do ask you if you want to round up. I did not, because I donate to Goodwill, so I'm like, you're getting my free stuff. I'm not going to round up. So <laughs> anyway, I hope you're having a great day and a good week, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.